Hi everyone, it's Athena, welcome back. This is Wednesday the 30th, and it's What's in the Vault series. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm gonna use my new Spiritual AF cards, all right, to start out. So I'll start with one card for each sign. Actually, I'll do one card and then three cards, yeah? Okay. Through, like, around the wheel, from Aries to Pisces. These are little, these are little suckers. They're not easy to manage, but they bring the message home, and I love them. It was a Christmas gift. I love it. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> Aries. <clears throat> Excuse me. Aries. One card for Aries. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to have to just kind of like, I think, pick. There it is. Okay. <laughs> All right, you read it, right? Put this card in your pocket and use it as a mantra today. All day and tomorrow, <laughs> too, while you're, while you're at it. <clears throat> Fuck what they think. All together now. <laughs> Fuck what they think in caps. Let freedom reign. Ring. Fuck F W T T for the win. All right. So that's awesome. All right. So Aries, your mantra today is fuck what they think. All right. I like it. Three cards. What's in the vault? So this is obviously a huge heads up for Aries. Like, I don't care what you say about who I'm with, what I do, where I go. You know it's tied into the Aries, what's in the vault. So let's just see what it's, is going on. Let's just do it like this. <clears throat> Something about putting it in order. So I think that that's what it is. People want you to do things in their, like, as they see it, in order of, right? And you're like, <laughs> I don't care what you think. Yeah, this is exactly what you're saying. <clears throat> so tumultuous waters, like a little turbulence going on in your life emotionally, because things have completely come to a halt and you are trying to heal and you're saying, I don't give an, I don't give an F. I mean, I know I said it already, but I don't want to keep saying it. It's just not, you, you know what I'm saying, right? So your mantra today is I'm going to do what I want. I'm going to go where I want. I'm going to heal as I want. And if there's, if I don't want to do anything, I don't, I don't F and care. So why is this in the vault? Because you're not. It's not like you're not the sign that would literally go come out and say, I don't give a shit what you think, right? However, however, in this particular case, because of this card, you don't want to show. You don't want to show like, okay, so this is how I feel. I feel inside you're hurting terribly. But the external telling others externally, I don't give a shit what you think or what they think. I don't care what this person who hurt you, you're like, fuck them. I mean, I just said it, whatever. Hopefully I won't get, you know. I've heard worse readers, but I typically don't like to curse that much, but it did come out for Aries. So you are internalizing your pain and externalizing saying, sorry, I didn't do that to you guys. <laughs> All right. That's what's going on. You're not really showing your pain. So of course, 
the pain is, and it happens now, you know, take, let's, let's go deeper. When you are in pain on the external, you're going to say, fuck them. I don't care what they think, but internally you're in great pain, which comes out as anger. That's the point. The internalization versus the external persona, which is of course the ego. Okay. All right, let's go. Taurus, I saw you at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, there you are. But we don't want to start there. We want to start here. Taurus, one card. I like these. Taurus. Taurus. Okay. I'm just going to... this one once you start laughing you start healing if you aren't ready to laugh at what's going on then laugh at something else Taurus the internet is filled with ridiculous shit laugh at that at that or call up your best friend who you trust to make fun of your problems in that loving brutal way that they do just start laughing you don't have anything to lose So Taurus, your external is, I'm just going to laugh this, going to laugh this shit off. Your external persona, your internal is, let's see. Wow, Taurus, what the heck happened here? What has crumbled? The truth set you free. It's given you peace but the angels watching over something that has crumbled in your life. You spoke your truth. You've written your truth. You've seen the vision of the truth that lies within. It's in the vault. What's in the vault is that you're laughing about it externally. So interesting enough, the egoic persona is actually the the car these cards are really the external and what's going on is why is it hidden because again emotionally or someone said something that was totally off the grid right spewed some real truth to you and you're not going to tell anyone but you're going to laugh externally about it as if you don't care, right? It's you're laughing to heal the pain of someone telling you internally someone, I think someone just handed you some real massive truth. Like this is how you are Taurus. And the angels are trying to help you get through it because it hurt. It hurt. It cut. Was it be, was it crap? It could have been. It could have been a, someone tried to just intensely hurt you through words, right? Just to, just to, you know, get that dagger. All right, Gemini. Gemini. Just to, you know, to turn it a little more. And you're laughing about it like, hey, that doesn't bother me. The vault is about not just the secrets that we keep. The secrets are, are, are truly what our emotions are, what things that we withhold that we don't show. And it's interesting because these cards are showing our external persona of what we show to the world. Hence, that is right in the vault. It could go both ways, right? All right, Gemini, let me focus here on Gem. Gem, here it is. Own your awesome, own your awesome and stay humble as fuck. List five things that you love about yourself, Gemini. Now list five ways that, five ways you're just like every other human being who's ever lived. Go forth, you fabulous little snowflake. 
and be like everyone else with your unique bad self. Nice. Own it. Geminis are owning it. <laughs> but stay humble in doing so. We know about that. Now let's look and see what's in the vault. I'm going to tell you I know what it is. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. You're still healing from a past wound that took place a while ago. Right? And I'm going to tell you, Gemini, this pain that you're hurting from is allowing you to stay humble and not to let your ego get away with anything. Wow. And I knew it. And I, it's, I mean, you know, just because I'm a Gemini sun sign doesn't mean it always comes out for us readers. It doesn't. Okay. Cancer. And if anyone wants to timestamp, I would greatly appreciate it. If you don't, it's fine too. You can just fast forward. And I am sorry. But I'm a little hectic. I'm trying to also get things done before the end of the year. And of course, you know, I have, most of you know, I still have a, a little fireball of a daughter who's amazing, but she keeps me on my toes. All right, let's focus on cancer. Cancer, one card. Cancer. Self-care isn't selfish. Oh, how appropriate, especially for the full moon. Did you guys see the full moon? In Cancer, our emotions are off the charts. Okay, Cancer, if you were really going to take care of yourself today, what would you do? So why aren't you doing that? No healthy person wants you to sacrifice yourself for them. Really, anyone who wants that from you is a selfish jerk. Don't assume that the people in your life are selfish jerks who can't handle you doing what you need to do for yourself. Self-care isn't selfish. God, I love these cards. That's externally today, Cancer. Go do some, go get a mani-pedi. I don't care if you're masculine or feminine. What? Right? Why should that be just a thing that women do? I mean, that's so... What? Right? Go get a massage. Well, you can't get a massage. You could have someone come to your house and get a massage as they wear a mask and gloves. I mean, come on. There's ways, there's ways to get around these crazy times. You just have to let it fly. Okay, so internally, this is what you're getting out of. This is, universe is giving you the cup to love yourself, to get out of your head and fly. Emotions, thoughts, freedom, mind, body, soul, hello. Take these wings and learn to fly. That's a song. Take these wings and learn to fly. For sure. If you guys know that song, I know I could Google it after. I will. Take these wings and learn to fly. So this is in the vault. That really and truly, you need to soar. It's time for you to soar. And you know it. And others want to see it. Take the, these wings and learn to fly. Absolutely. Cancers. Good. So on point on that, on that one because I just got a beautiful text from Carrie. So yeah. Carrie, I'm thinking about you on that one. All right, let's go. Leo.
I may just use this deck for a, like a minute because these are the best ever. I love them, love them, love them. Okay, let's go. Leo, the lions. That's the card. I saw it. I, I thought of, I saw red and that was it. Once you start laughing, you start healing. You got this card as well. So did Aries or Taurus. Shit. <laughs> That's scary, isn't it? Like it was just a minute ago. That's because I live in the present moment. Ooh, that's how I'm justifying that one. <laughs> if you aren't ready to laugh at what's going on, then laugh at something else. The internet is fooled, filled, sorry, fooled. Ooh, the internet is, fools us, but is filled with ridiculous shit. Laugh at that and call up your best friend who you trust to make fun of the problems in that loving, brutal way they do. Just start laughing. You don't have anything to lose. So you're externally showing the world, I'm just going to laugh this crap off, right? Also, and that's, you know, that's another thing I just heard. Laughing is a form of healing. We know that, yeah? And when we laugh something off, we are in pain. That's why when you look at all these comedians, they have the saddest stories sometimes. Not all the time, but yeah, they take... The, most of their most of their work, right, is about the stories that they are talking about, and they want to laugh about them because that gives them healing. Some of you guys may be comedians. This is why you're. This is why someone walked away from the Leos. Cancer, or I'm sorry, it's um sorry, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That you hold the secret. That's your secret. Leo, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius left you and this was your true love. Bam. Or someone walked away from, from your life, out of your life. Someone left your life. Hello. And you are keeping the fact that you know they are your one to yourself. And how are you healing? Your external persona is to laugh about it and to pretend that it never happened. That's what happens. We, right? Under the rug, correct? Under the rug. Virgo, Virgo, let's see what's going on for Virgos. I love these. Aren't these great, you guys? Virgo, it's right here. These colors are also very, I'm just going to tell you, these colors coming out, this is very grounded, earth. The Leo was passion, fire, red. Got it? So don't think by any means that the color depiction on the cards do not also represent a huge meaning to the sign that is being read. Okay, so Virgo, loving is its own reward. The very act of loving is the benefit of the risk. We all want to be loved back. We all want to be supported, supported. But when you grow up, you see that it has nothing to do with how the person who receives your love reacts and all about you just being willing to open your heart in this dangerous world, which is very difficult for an earth sign. Why? It's because they love so deeply. It is like they go down deep into the roots of their soul. Be a gangster and love the fuck out of someone today. Expect nothing in return. I said that with purpose. I know I did. <laughs> Virgos. What's inside? Ooh, Virgos. Your internal, internally. All right, now these cards all came out, so I'm taking them. But the three cards, I am going to take these for sure. 
you have this inner hidden masterpiece. You are this masterpiece. And sometimes, Virgo, no one knows how deep you really go. You are this masterpiece that is goes your inner your inner roots, the roots of your soul is how deep you can go and no one knows. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. And the reading, the daily reading is about the deepest cut. Ten of swords. The deep cut of walking away from someone that you thought was your person. I'm not going to, I am intertwining it. Yes, because it, it applies for sure. The deepest cut. And that's, again, a song. The first cut is the deepest. So Virgos got cut, their hearts got really hurt as though it was the first love of their life. Externally, you know that truly Throwing yourself into a love that is so true is the way for you, is for you, that is what you need to do. The question is, and what's in the vault, will you ever show that to anyone ever again? The first cut is the deepest, Virgos. Some never, never come out of that first cut. And it shows. But because you have withheld that, that one love. Libra, Libras, that was deep, Virgo, <laughs> but you guys are deep and no one really knows that how deep you guys can be. Virgo, oh, all right, Whew. Libra, I don't know why I did that, Libra, I swear I don't know, <laughs> it's like, let me regroup, Libra, oh. This is so funny because I was looking. I'm a Libra moon. Look at the effing moon. Just look at that thing. I was looking at it last night when I watched my dogs. Just look at that thing. It's lovely as fuck, right? You're welcome. This applies much to Libra moons, but also sun and rising. I'm, I'm just going to say how, how. Look at the effing moon. Sometimes I want to say it and sometimes I don't. Sometimes I don't. Oh, look. The Blessed Mother is here to, sh to shed light. Who is the feminine? Who is the, the moon? Seriously. Externally, what does this imply? I was, okay, the moon is our emotions. So set your sights on how you're feeling. No talking. You're not talking. Right now, you're not talking. You have two twos. That's a yes. That's a yes from the Blessed Mother. Talking is not needed now. Feeling is needed now because of this. This awaits you. 
So it's in, it's in the vault for sure. Libras, the heartaches, the pains, the suffering. I hear a little depression. Just, and why, why? And it's, it's not like massive here, but what you're holding on to is these five cups. These five things that, you know, time and time again, show up as the potential cups we talked about today in the daily. You two have gone through the potentials as we all have. We don't want to talk about it. We're holding back, of course. Externally, though, we're, we're keeping quiet silence. And we are deep into the depths of trying to heal this so that we can move on. And no, we're not going to tell anybody about about it. We look to the moon to help heal us. That was Libra. Scorpios. Scorp. Now you notice also the color of that card was blue-ish. It's right here. I just see it. Hold on. For Libras. Look, the mid, the midnight, the darkness, so you're in the void. I had to say that. And, and what is being reflected back to you is the healing light of the moon, okay? So it is the night sky of the blue moon. And it's weird, I'm wearing blue with the moon, like, right? It's weird. Things just happen. This is how life unfolds. Understand color, numbers, sequential things, our feelings, our body, even the way we dress, the colors that we choose without even knowing. All right, let's focus on Scorpio. Scorpio, you can learn a lot of good lessons from a few fucked up people. <laughs> Take a moment and think about a major lesson in your life. Hello. Did your heart get broken? Did a friend betray you? Did that heartbreak teach you not to settle? Are you resilient and self-reliant now because you had to be? Think of the fucked up person who taught you that lesson. Send, send them a little cosmic thank you. Gratitude for the lesson you learned does not excuse what they did. It does help you avoid going back in this in for the same lesson with a new fucked up person, though. <laughs> Scorpios. <laughs> I love it. That's this is so good. This makes the the in the vault series so much so much more fun. Scorpio. Yeah. Someone couldn't commit. Now, listen, like attracts like. I'm just saying. Someone could not make a commitment. They could not open their heart. And a relationship has ended because of it. So who is the fucked up person? Only you can tell. Only you can learn a lot of great lessons from this experience as you have had this experience many times. It came out today in the daily. The Scorpio dealing with what was a King of Pentacles today with an Aries, Leo, Sag and a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You had all of the star or uh, sorry, all of the elements show up in your reading today, Scorpio. This is why. Internally, you know something's ended because you can't. You are not capable right now. It's not that you haven't already. You've been very capable of commitment, but right now you can't give your heart away. 
Some of you are going through a massive transformation because of so many people that you attract that are fucked up. But don't forget to look in the mirror. I'm not throwing shade at my beautiful scorpions. There's a reason why there's gray in this card. Who's Mr. Gray? Like attracts like. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to lie. I can't. It's not who I am. Saggies. Sag. Purple. Majestic. Royalty. Saggies. You're in your element of beautiful truth. Why? Because look at all the white on the, the letters are all white. Because you own it. You own your own truth and your spirituality. Forgive the fuck out of someone today. <laughs> You're probably thinking, it's not that easy. Sorry, but yes, the fuck it is. Take all the energy you've put into being mad and making a case for how wrong so-and-so is and let that shit go. Start small so you can get the hang of it. The driver who just cut you off, yell. Oh my God, that's so my daughter. I forgive you <laughs> and wave. Secret bonus perk, forgiving someone usually pisses them off worse than anything else. My daughter loves the horn, can I tell you? It's like being a New Yorker. No offense to New Yorkers, but come on. New Yorkers love the horn. She also has a lot of, you know, she just has that spunk. She has that fire. Get the F out of my way, you know, but she will learn, come to learn that that doesn't always. Anyway, I'm, I'm going on a tangent. Forgive the fuck out of someone today. Sag, because really it is true. The forgiveness is usually about our own situations instead of ignoring it and not talking about it. You don't even want to talk about how you feel right now because you're not. Look at how the card matches this card. Do you see? You don't want to forgive, but spirit saying internally, you, you're like, fuck that. Externally, you're going to do it. Yeah, you're like, no, I'm not. <laughs> Internally, no, I'm not. Because I'm on my knees right now. Is, is it you? Do you have to forgive yourself for something? I don't know why I heard it. If it's not, you need to forgive someone for something that they have done. Internally, you are suffering. This is on my knees, emotionally drained, physically more than, well, physical and emotional. Emotionally, you're like, I don't want to talk about it. Physically, God, my body, your body hurts. You're just like, what? Do I have to do this humdrum thing every day? It's the same shit. When's this going to change? Oh my God. Well, it'll change once you, once you forgive. And this might be about forgiving yourself. I'm just saying I felt it, so I'm saying it. Okay, Capricorn. Capricorn. Let's see what's happening. I know. I feel like Rafa right now, you know, in this, I am, I'm, it's kind of a, everything has to be in its place. Like Rafa puts his water down when he's doing, 
you know, when he's taking his break or he's finishing, he's got his waters have to be completely aligned. I'm like that even in my fridge. I don't know. Go figure. <laughs> Where did it come from? I wasn't like that before. <laughs> Capricorn. I'm serious. I was not like that before. In order to love who you are, you can't hate the experiences that shaped you. Anything truly cool about what you about you was created from the life you've lived. Remember that within you, I'm sorry. Remember that when you start to wind down the shame spiral, no time is wasted, no love is wasted, no tears are wasted, no breath is wasted. You being you is important and every single thing that makes you is of value. Tell shame to suck it. <laughs> that is what you need to externalize. That's what you're feeling. In order to love, you just can't hate these experiences that have shaped you. And quite frankly, it is, it is it just some, your ego makes you feel shameful of the experiences you have had, you know, that's your ego. This is a perfect, this is, this was a, such a beautiful gift. Oh my God. I'm using these for all the read. No, <laughs> definitely for the, for the, um, vault series Capricorn for sure. Hello. You're putting your, you're laying your ego to rest, but externally you're having a hard time showing it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're telling shame to take a seat. Ego. Just sit the F down because I want to manifest this. Oh my God. I love it. Capricorn. Look. Oh my God. And I'm taking them. Look, that's why. This is why. Sit the fuck down to your ego. You are in great pain. You've been hurt to the point where of no return. Not true. That's what your ego is saying externally. It's not just one situation. It's been many over the course of time. And all you want to do is take a minute to reflect about everything that's happened so that you can manifest a new beginning with someone who deserves you. Come on. Come on. Sit the fuck down. Externally, the ego's trying to say, well, you better freaking be shameful of the things that, that have molded you. It's all your fault. Clearly, you should take responsibility for what's your fault, but not the shame that comes with it. With each one of these swords that hurts you, Capricorn, do not let your ego control you. Tell it to sit the fuck down so that you can manifest the real deal. I don't know why I want to say this. Thank you very much. <laughs> Some of you guys like like Elvis. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to kind of like lighten it up a little too. Because that was a little harsh. Aquarius. Oh, you guys came right out. Hello. Name, n Namaste. Oh my God, that's cool. Namaste. The sleigh in me recognizes the sleigh in you. That's cool. At some point, you get, you, you got to get up and act like the people you admire. You probably know someone who is slaying at life right now. Spend today doing the shit they do. Better yet, take them to coffee and ask them how exactly they manage to slay so hard. Then recognize where you where you are capable of the same kind of sleigh. I love it, and I feel like sleigh, you know, like the reindeers and the sleigh. But it's obviously 
That's a cutesy thing. This is slaying the fuck out of who you are. And knowing that you too have the magnificence that you see in others. Aquarius. <laughs> this is great. This really helps the reading. This, I was gonna, I was thinking maybe in January to stop these in the vault readings, but yeah, that's not happening. Not after these cards came out. Look at this. Look at this. The one true love, passionate love, being in love. This is a huge passionate love, the one, but something happened, right? So that's why, what happened? Did you fall in love, Aquarius? Hello, you did. And you don't even know it. I feel like some of you don't even know how absolutely in love you are. You kind of want to hide that shit. You do. You want to hide that shit. You want to protect it. See, look it. Aquarius, you're protecting it. But the way that they slay is the way that you too have that within. As within, so without. Wow, that was off the chart. Good reading, Aquarius. Pisces, that was fun. This has been fun. I hope you've enjoyed it. These things are uploading. I've got so much uploading right now. It's crazy. Trying to get all of the 2021 readings out as well. All right, Pisces. Look at that. Pisces, you want to talk about what's within you right now instead of doing this one first because it didn't even dawn on me. So Pisces, you don't want anything to do with the external part of your ego yourself. I am going to do that for you. This is why. This is so why. This is why you don't feel like you need this card. You don't feel like you need this card because you're as happy, happy as fuck. You're happy as fuck. Look at this. Look at this. You've got it all. Pisces, you're happy, you're drinking, you're celebrating. You're having a passionate life. You're having a passionate relationship with the life that you have. So why would you want this card? But of course I'm going to take this card for you. This is the fun. Be kind-hearted as fuck and full of love, but maintain boundaries like a, like a mofo. <laughs> Letting people fuck with you is not a spiritual attribute. Remember this. Think about Archbishop Desmond, oh, Desmond Tutu. That dude wouldn't have done the good shit he did in the world if he let people walk all over him. Even His Holiness, the Dalai Lama, tells people to fuck off sometimes in his own compassionate as fuck way. So that's the key. This is interesting. All right, listen up. Pisces, your external is this. Your internal is this. Out of all the signs, you switched, you switched it up. Because you're happy as a lark, drinking, celebrating, giving, taking. Life is beautiful. That goes up here. That's your external. Your internal, your what's in the vault is knowing that you're so kind-hearted and not allowing people to step all over all of this good stuff going on. All the goodness that you exude out into the world, in the vault, you are so kind-hearted that you won't let anyone 
fuck with you. Yes! Have a great day.